Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. We have spent many hours collecting soul shapes in Shadowlands. And then they went and released critter forms, and we had to collect them as well, only to see these wonderful additions to the game and disappear when Dragonflight finally rolls around. Or maybe not. Let's go take a look. So if like me, you start your morning with a nice cup of coffee and checking your phone and having a look at Wowhead, then you, like me, would have seen this article. If you want to look at it for yourself, you haven't seen it already, I will put a link in the description. The TLDR is, with Dragonflight comes a new toy that we can collect from the Heart of the Forest. Simply head to Lady Moon, the NPC we speak to to change our soul shapes, or if you prefer, talk to the amazing Chufa, who is responsible for our critter shapes, and they will present you with the Seed of Renewed Souls. Keep in mind, this is a toy, and it simply gives you the appearance of your selected soul shape. You're not going to get the speed boost, you're not going to get flicker and all that good stuff. Also, once you cast a spell, this is gone. You then have to wait for 5 minutes, which is a cooldown, and currently the duration of this effect is 10 minutes. And as I said before, it will use your selected soul shape. So finally, I can wander around as my heart's content as my alpaca still. And for those wondering, uh, hang on, Nick Grimm, this is a toy. That means all my characters have access to this, right? Don't worry, Blizzard have you covered. It's simply going to use the default shape. Even if you have never been Night Fae before, you'll still have access to this toy and an appearance. Now, last of all, you don't have to wait until Dragonflight to get your hands on this. Once pre-patch goes live, this will be available. If you want to go test it out for yourselves, feel free to jump on PTR. It is, after all, free to all. And you can go to the Heart of the Forest and collect it. Also, it's worth noting here that all the new talent trees, all that good stuff is available right now on PTR. So if you fancy trying out some new class builds and you don't as yet have access to Vita, then the PTR can help you while you are waiting for that access. Sadly, there is no Evoker class on PTR, but that is really the only restriction when it comes to classes. In regards to this toy, it's a really good addition. Uh, myself and Cuddles actually had a conversation about this on a video a while ago now, basically saying that it's a shame that people have invested so much in collecting these soul shapes, they've got so attached to them, and then it's just going to disappear. So it is nice to gain this toy that's going to enable us to still use this feature and still use these appearances that we gathered. It's just a shame that we didn't have these toys around for other expansions. I kind of... I know this is going to sound strange, but I for one love heading into Legion and suddenly just a follower appears and joins me on my adventures. It kind of makes me feel all nostalgic for when I was doing stuff and those people were following me around helping me. It would be nice to gain a toy if we could summon one of those followers with us. They don't have to do any combat. Don't need any balancing around that. Just follow us around and, you know, mutter stuff to us. I don't know. Same as the garrison followers. We just spent so much time with these things that it's really nice if we could take them with us. But at least, at least it looks like going forward, Blizzard is aware that we as players want more features that transcend a single expansion. Even if it's just flavour, I'm all good with that. I mean, I'm looking at the, the transmog for Legion. And those weapons, we were able to take them forward with us. But that's enough from me. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Ladies, everyone.